Hi Libra, thanks for watching this video. So this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Pay closest attention to your Moon sign in my opinion, maybe your Venus. Um, this is also if you're spying on a Libra. So in the month of December, what is your overall um, energy or theme? And they're like, still working hard. You guys have been workaholics lately. It's just like paying attention to details, getting things done, getting them accomplished, like reflecting back on the past on your happy memories and, you know, gaining strength from the lessons you learned there. So this is really good because if you notice, there's a lot of yellow, which indicates happiness and personal power. So this is helping you to feel really strong, you know, and in all of this, like all this hard work that you're doing, you're like looking at your past and you're like, you know what? Those times were good, these ones were bad, let's focus on the good ones, pat ourselves on the back for what we've learned through the times that were hard and how, you know, the memories we're making now. And so um, you're gaining a lot of strength there and a lot of smarts and actually you're attracting infinite possibilities into your life. So this is really good in regards to love, even though it doesn't necessarily seem entirely related straight out the gate. But it is. And so another way that you want to take this too is when you're thinking about, like if you're dating, for example, if you're single, um, think about the details of what you want in a partner so that you're not wasting your time going out with people that you're not going to end up liking, you know, or pay attention to details of um, what you're doing for your partner, to your partner, you know, how you're communicating with them. Um, this is a really great month for you for communication, which is interesting because we're in a Mercury retrograde. Um, but for Libra, it looks like you won't have as much trouble as everybody else with communication chasm. So they're like, you know, paying attention to these kind of things is a really good thing. Um, and it can strengthen your bond. So um, what are the things that are going really well for you in the month of December in regards to love? And they say, um, you know, the fact that sometimes not saying something, if you're not sure you can communicate it um, in the perfect way, that's good. You know that old adage, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. But this is very Libra anyway, where it's like you're not going to throw an accusation out there unless you have something to back up your claim. You're going to give people the benefit of the doubt, and that definitely works for you. Um, this is a deep feeling month for you, and not in like a crazy making kind of way. Just in a like, you're going to feel things very intensely this month. Now, um, but you're very... But you're very like strong and grounded in this. Does that make sense? Like you're gaining strength from the feelings that you have processed in the past and where you're at now. And so they're like, there's really nothing for you to worry about in the month of December. So what are the challenges that you'll be facing? And it says, um, well, that things move slowly. So if you're trying to um, rekindle a relationship in a Mercury retrograde, if you're trying to meet the right person, you know, because you're single, if you're trying to improve your marriage, those kind of things, it's a slower process than maybe you were hoping for. And while um, it might be a little bit dramatic, like it's only because old ways of doing things have to come apart so new better ways of doing things can be built in their place this card is not that ominous necessarily in this position people are really afraid of this tarot card um the tower but in the challenge position it's not so much because it's almost indicating that you have a choice it's like so you can keep things status quo or you can kind of um remodel right? And that's what that's saying. Now, the other challenge is to be really in tune with your intuition this month. And if you're trying to get pregnant, there's going to be a few days this month that are really, really good for you, that are really fertile, and then other days that are not so good for you. So um, I feel like Libra's also had this recently within the last few months that you had like a really fertile month. And now it's like, eh. so, you know, if that's something that you're trying for, definitely, um, you know, be easy on yourself if it doesn't work for you this month. Um, Oh, cute. They just threw this one out like it flipped around and it landed right on my on my leg here. And it's saying that um, these things take time. And if you see, um, he's planted these just like, you know, an egg would be planted in a, a uterus and then it would grow and blossom. But it takes time, you know. And so he had to nurture this. He had to cultivate it. So it's like, you know, there's going to be all these steps and like watching what you eat, getting enough exercise, and enough rest. So you have the perfect womb to grow these things. But they're like, it's worth the wait. Because those blossomed and bloomed into something bigger and better and more beautiful than they than they thought possible. So, you know, like, this is a really good omen for somebody who maybe has a history of miscarriage or something like that, where it's like, you know, maybe in the past, um, things didn't grow the right way, or they didn't work out, or they didn't plant in the right time and space. But it's like now, 
this month might not be the month that one catches, but it's actually worth waiting for it because then it's gonna go perfectly and it'll be like a smoother, easier process than you thought possible. So that might be a specific message for one person, but but anyway, that's what I see here. Um, and again, they're just kind of like saying, double check your text messages though before you send them. <laughs> you know, check for spelling errors, things like that. Um, okay. So what are the ways that we can work through our challenges in the month of December in regards to trying to find love or um, to improve our love relationships? And they say that focusing on the bigger picture on what it is that you have in common, right? We both want this thing. We have different ideas on how to achieve this thing. But let's just focus on the fact that we're in agreement, like in agreement. Um, because if you don't do that, it's going to be really, really hard for you to um, continue to deal with people that don't. Because people who are going to disagree with you that you don't want the same thing at the end of the day aren't for your highest good. You know, um, birds of a feather flock together is kind of is kind of the thing here. They say you're totally in control of you know how things go for you this month, um, but big changes are coming, like moving into the new year, and they're positive. But this month is about like closing the door on things from the past, things that are not needed. And so really doing that reflection, but thinking, pausing and thinking before you speak. They say um, if you've already closed a lot of the doors throughout the year of 2017, if you've already um, said, you know what, this chapter of my life is done, this person in my life like adds nothing but drama, like um, I think it's time to find a job that I love instead of this job, they're like, then things are gonna keep going the way that they've been going for you. But you know, if you have this kind of baggage that we're forced to reflect on in a Mercury retrograde and you're not really dealing with it, well then you can expect to carry that stuff into 2018, unfortunately. But it looks like the majority of you are going to be stepping through some new blessings. So what are those new blessings about? Um, and they say, it's not, well, first and foremost, they're kind of making a joke. They're like, first and foremost, it's not having to go back and relearn the same lesson again and again and again until it sinks in. It's about your confidence. Um, some of you are having a hard time like looking at the challenges and wondering like, is this worth it? Is it worth it? And you're getting the confidence just to be like bold and take action on things. So the overall lesson for you in regards to love in the month of December, Libra, is kindness. You're humanitarian, made of love, and you are so able to share that energy with others. And so this is gonna really be a month for you to um, share that energy of love. And why is that? Because it makes you feel good about yourself. Because the more love that you show, the more love that you give in the month of December, um, even if other people don't take it the way that you expect them to, or you hope that they do, or even if they don't return it that way, it's like at least you built yourself up that way. Like you know your worth. So that's awesome. I love it. Um, happy December and see you next month.